In this video lecture, we will learn about two flow control elements, conditions and blocks of code. Then we will learn how to execute a Python program. We will also learn about different flow control statements, if, else, elif, while loop, break, continue, for loops and range function. Elements of flow control Flow control statements often starts with the condition and are followed by a block of code also called a class. Conditions Conditions are nothing but boolean expressions that gets reduced to a boolean value. Conditions are always evaluated and are reduced to a boolean value, either true or false. A flow control statement decides what to do based on whether its condition is true or false and almost every flow control statement uses a condition blocks of code or clause blocks of code is nothing but lines of python code that can be grouped together into blocks we can easily identify when a block begins and ends from the indentation of the lines of code there are three rules for blocks they are blocks begin when the indentation increases second one Blocks can contain other blocks and the third one is blocks end when the indentation decreases to zero or to a containing blocks indentation. If the python code is properly indented, we can easily identify and understand the blocks. We will see this in the following example. In this code, we have used simple if statement. First block of code starts at the line print hello and contains all the lines after it. Inside this block is another block which has only a single line in it print access granted. The third block is also one line long that is print wrong password. Program execution Python starts executing instructions from the top of the program moving down one after another. The program execution or simply execution is a term for the current instruction being executed. All programs do not execute the statement sequentially. For example, in a program with flow control statements, the execution keeps jumping around the source code based on conditions and sometimes probably we skip entire clauses. Flow control statements Statements of flow control statements are important piece of flow control in any program. In the flowchart, they are represented by diamonds. They are actually the decisions the program will take. If statement. It is one of the most common type of flow control statement. An if statements clause or the block following the if statement will execute if the statement's condition is true. The clause is skipped if the condition is false. In Python, an if statement consists of the four following elements. The if keyword, the condition or an expression that evaluates to true or false, a colon and an indented block of code also called as if clause starting on the next line. Let us take an example. In the example, observe that the following code that checks to see whether the user's name is Alice. All flow control statements end with a colon and are followed by a new block of code or the clause. The if statements clause is a block with print hi Alice and print welcome. Else statement. An if clause can optionally be followed by an else statement. The else clause is executed only when the if statement's condition is false. An else statement does not have a condition. In code, an else statement always consists of the following. The else keyword, a colon, and 
and an indented block of code also called as else clause starting on the next line. In the following example, observe that the code checks to see whether the user is Alice or not. Suppose the user is not Alice, then the else statements clause is executed. Here, note that else statement ends with a colon and is followed by new block of code that is the else clause. The else statements clause in this example is a block with print hello stranger instruction. LF statements. If we want one of many possible clauses to execute, then we can make use of the LF statement. The LF statement is an else if statement that always follows an if or another LF statement. It also provides another condition that is checked only if any of the previous conditions were false. The ELIF statement always consists of the following. The ELIF keyword, a condition or an expression that evaluates to true or false, a colon, and an indented block of code called ELIF clause that starts on the next line. The ELIF clause executes if age is less than 12 is true and name equals to Alice is false. However, if both of the conditions are false, then both of the clauses are skipped. When there is a chain of ELIF statements, only one or none of the clauses will be executed. Once one of the statements condition is found to be true, the rest of the ELIF clauses are automatically skipped. Here, we will see the execution of if ELIF statement. Observe that I have initialized the name to Alice and age to 10. Therefore, the if clause is executed and you get the output Hi Alice. In the very next example, observe that I have initialized name to Alex and age to 10. Therefore, the if condition is false and the elif clause gets executed and we get an output you are not Alice Kiddo. The elif statements must be placed in a proper order, else we may run into a problem. At most, only one of the clauses will be executed. Optionally, we have an else statement after the last elif statement. In that case, it is guaranteed that at least one and only one of the clauses will be executed. If the conditions in every if and elif statements are false, then the else clause is executed. While loop statements. A block of code can execute over and over again with a while statement. The code in a while clause will be executed as long as the while statement's condition is true. A while statement always consists of the following. The while keyword, a condition that is an expression that evaluates to true or false, a colon, and an indented block of code called while clause starting on the next line. In the while loop, the condition is always checked at the start of each iteration. If the condition is true, then the clause is executed and afterwards the condition is checked again. The first time the condition is found to be false, the while clause is skipped. In this particular example, the while statement checks the value of spam and if it is less than 5, prints a message and increments the value of spam by 1. This process is repeated until spam value is greater than 5. Therefore, the output of the while loop here is Hello world repeated five times. An annoying while loop. Here's a small example program that will keep asking the user to type literally your name. First, the program sets the name variable to an empty string. Therefore, the name not equals to your name condition will evaluate to true and the program.
program execution will enter the while loop clause. Until the user types the string your name, the while loop's condition will never be false and the program will just keep asking forever. Here, the input call lets the user enter the right string to make the program move on. Break statement. The break statement is used to terminate the execution of the nearest enclosing loop in which it appears. Therefore, when the compiler encounters a break statement, the control passes to the statement that follows the loop in which the break statement appears. Here in the example, an if name equals to your name statement is placed within the infinite loop. If this condition is true, the break statement is run and the execution moves out of the loop to print thank you. Continue statement. When the compiler encounters a continue statement, then the rest of the statements in the loop are skipped and control is unconditionally transferred to the loop continuation portion of the nearest enclosing loop. Here in the example, if the user enters any name besides Joe, the continue statement causes the program execution to jump back to the start of the loop. Otherwise, the execution continues to the end of the while loop where it then jumps back to the start of the loop. For loops and the range function, if a block of code is to be executed only a certain number of times, then use a for loop statement and the range function. A for loop statement always includes the following, the for keyword, a variable name, a in keyword, a call to the range method with up to three integers passed to it, a colon and an indented block of code called as for clause starting on the next line. In this example python code, the for loops clause is run five times. The first time it is run, the variable i is set to zero. The print call in the clause prints jimmy five times. After Python finishes an iteration through all the code inside the for loops clause, the execution goes back to the top of the loop and the for statement increments i by 1. This is why range of 5 results in 5 iterations through the clause, with i being set to 0, then 1, then 2, then 3, and then 4. The variable i will go up to but will not include the integer passed to the range function. The starting, stopping and stepping arguments to range function. When we have a fixed set of numbers to iterate in a for loop, we can use a function range. The syntax is range of start, comma, end, comma, steps, where Start and end indicates starting and ending values in the sequence, where end is excluded in the sequence, that is, sequence is up to end minus 1. The default value of start is 0. The argument steps indicate the increment or decrement in the values of the sequence with the default value as 1. Hence, the argument steps is optional. Here are few examples on usage of range function. In the first example, we print the values from 0 to 4. Here, 0 is the default starting value. The statement range of 5 is same as range of 0, 5 and range of 0, 5, 1. In the next example, we are printing values from 5 to 1. The function range of 5, 0, minus 1 indicates that the sequence of values are 5 to 0, where 0 is excluded in steps of minus 1 downwards. Before we conclude, we have a quick recap. In this particular video lecture, we have learned about two flow control elements, condition and block of code. We also learned how to execute a Python code. We, all, we have seen various control statements like if 
tell if else while loop break continue for loop and range function in a few programming demonstrations too.